It's important for your team to be able to easily and quickly update your website in order to be effective in this fast-paced information age. With Concrete 5's intuitive in-context editing, updating your website is as simple as updating a Word document. Simply put your page in edit mode, select the block you'd like to edit, and start editing. Using Concrete 5's Enterprise Workflow extensions, you can have this powerful speed, but also the accountability of a multi-step approval process. Concrete 5 Enterprise Workflow introduces many advanced features that extend the basic workflow functionality of Concrete 5. If I go to our Contact Us page, put the page in edit mode, and edit a block, change a custom attribute, in this case, the meta description of our page, I can now submit my page to Workflow, and not one, but two different workflows will fire. The first is publisher approval, and the second is SEO approval. Each of these workflows is attached to specific elements of our page. In this case, the version of the page for publisher approval, and other properties of the page for SEO approval. Multiple workflows can be launched at the exact same time. In addition, workflows can have multiple steps. Let's try to delete the page I've been working on. When I delete the page, I get a red bar across the top of my screen saying this page has been marked for deletion. It's been submitted to publisher's approval. Now if I log out and log back in as publisher, we can go to the dashboard and take a look at waiting for me. We can see that the contact us page has been marked for deletion and we can move this to the next step of the workflow which is administrator approval. We can enter comments and we can pass the approval on to the next step of the workflow. To see what this workflow looks like from the dashboard, we can check out workflow list. Since we are deleting a page, we are using the delete workflow. As you can see, there are three steps, a publisher's approval, administrator approval, and internal review. Each of these steps has an action defined for approval and denial. For approval of the first step, we set it to, to proceed to step two, administrator approval or cancel the changes. If we were to edit this step, we could actually select any part of the workflow to send the page to on approval and denial. So workflow is flexible. You don't have to go forward or backward. You can jump around from step to step as you see fit. You can also control access to who can approve and deny on this workflow. Right now we just have the publishers group selected. If I wanted to add an access entity to this, we can choose from any user, group, combination of users that we like. We could give administrators access. We could give a specific user access to this workflow step. And they'll be listed here. In addition, we can also exclude users from being able to approve or deny pages, users, groups, or combinations. For instance, if we never wanted sub-admin to be able to approve or deny in this first step of the workflow, we could select them here, and they appear in the excluded list, which means they could never approve or deny pages during this step of the workflow. Naturally, as we work with the multiple step type workflow, we can add as many steps as we like. Finally, when the workflow ends, the page is approved and the workflow is complete. We also have a third type. Multiple step page. Our SEO approval workflow we saw earlier is one of these types. If we edit details for this workflow, we can see that it's fired whenever certain conditions are met. This means we can pick and choose which parts of the page and specific attributes we want to trigger the workflow. So for instance, this, this workflow will be triggered if someone updates the name or description of the page. It doesn't get triggered if someone updates the author or the date time or the page path. Same goes for the attributes down here. So since this is an SEO focused workflow, we fire this workflow when any, whenever the meta information is updated, the meta title, description, or keywords. So the SEO approvers only have to deal with SEO concerns. Another feature of the multiple step page workflow type is approved permissions. This tab allows you to set specific permissions on the page as it moves through the various steps in your workflow. So for instance, if you want to lock down access to the page while there's a pending version of the page 
in a certain level of your workflow, a certain step, you can do so here. This allows you to deny people the ability to edit the page further, for instance, or move it around your site while there's a pending version of the page out there. With Concrete 5's Enterprise Workflow, you have the advantage of a truly easy to use editing system with the power to model any business process your organization needs for accountability.